Hey guys, Gumrath here once again, bringing you a guide on some of the most notable pets from every family. We are now down to humanoids, and there's a bunch of really cool pets in this family. Um, the first and probably most notable humanoid pet that I'd say the vast majority of players have is the Anubis Sath Idol. And he just lasts forever. He's an absolute beast, huge health pool, uh, slow as can be, hits really hard, and has deflection, which really makes him viable um, when it comes to countering really heavy moves. And he's just fantastic in PvE. Ugh, pardon me, sorry for the yawn. Uh, he's not as good in PvP. I don't like him very much in PvP, but I've seen some people use him uh, decently there. But he can be beaten really easily by un- Whoa! Did you guys see that? The Snowbolt Runt throws snowballs at you. That's super cool. That is a great little interaction. I've never seen that before. Okay, well that brings me to the second pet here, is the Snowbolt Runt. Now he is an incredibly rare drop from the Trial of Crusade and he is really really strong i talked about him in my best pets of northrend um he's got weakening blows which makes him really useful for capturing low level pets uh he also has kick which will make it so that person gets their round skipped and it's really useful on an ss breed and then he's got some really heavy hitting elemental type moves here so he's just a really cool pet and you know he kind of looks a little devious down there but I would, I would try to pick him up. I would farm for him. Now, Bonkers, here's another pet that with an SS breed, he is significantly better. Any SS pet that has the dodge ability makes him incredibly, like, far more useful because it'll make dodge last for two rounds instead of one. So, try to find yourself an SS Bonker. Honestly, it's a shame that this guy doesn't sell for more. I had... I went through a ton of them trying to catch me a uh, SS one. He's from the chess out on the Timeless Isles. And I just had probably 10 or 15 bonkers. And I couldn't sell them for more than 800 gold on my server. So, yeah. Try to find yourself an SS bonker. Also a power power breed. I could see an argument made for that. Like if you do going bonkers where you increase your critical strike chance by 100%. And you combine that with either Haymaker or Tornado Punch. Holy cow. Yeah, that's, if you crit on a Haymaker, you know, what is that, 1,200 damage? Well, you'll basically one-shot anybody who's not a, like, HH Beast or a Magic type. So, you definitely want to add this guy to your collection. He's super fun for PvP. Um, another PvP god, the Fiendish Imp. I hate this pet. I hate playing against it. I literally hate everything about him. Uh, just because he's so dominant in the PvP meta. I just don't like playing against the same thing all the time. And he's just good because he's a really fast pet. And he's a fast pet with Nethergate. So often what they'll do is the pedal or the Fiendish Imp will go in there. He'll throw an Immolate. He'll take damage. He'll switch out the pet. And then he himself will switch out. And then he'll heal up all the damage that he took in the back line. And then eventually when this is off cooldown again, he'll switch back in and switch you out. And so it's just free damage that he gets to deal. And he's super annoying. I just really am not a fan of these guys. So, Or they'll switch you out right off the bat and make it so your strategy that you were planning doesn't end up working. So don't really like them. But incredibly useful. And they're only incredibly useful in the speed speed breed. Um, the other two are decent, but they do not play well with his kit. So, go for the speed speed breed. And he's from Karazhan. Now, I've talked before about the Flare Younglings. I love these guys. They're just so freaking amazing in PvE. Um, depending on the fight that you're going against, if you need to block a really big attack, like for certain trainers, I would run Deflection. But if you're just out, like power leveling up some other pets, just chewing through some critters, throw on Focus here, which increases your speed hit chance and critical strike chance by 25% for five rounds. And so that means your power power breed will end up with the same amount of speed as your speed speed breed. And you'll be able to outspeed everything. You'll be critting all the time. And it lasts for five rounds, which is a, like a really long boost. I mean, it's like dazzling dance. Uh, that's how much it increases your speed by, but also your crit, your hit, your crit. It's just, 
a fantastic move. You pair that with a really heavy hitting rampage, love him. And then the last is the Kunlai Runt. Um, everyone knows the Kunlai Runt. He's a nice, another double counter to critters, just like the Flare Youngling, where he's got all these beast type moves, but he also has that super heavy hitting Frost Shock Deep Freeze takedown combo, which will kill like everything in the world. Um, almost nothing can survive it. And then he's healing up every single time he's doing damage. So find yourself a power, power breed of the Kunlai Runt, and take him into PvP and have some good times. Um, those are my favorite Hyonoid type pets. There are some other really good ones out there. Um, or Crusher or the uh, Or. I can't remember what the name of that pet is. I I searched for it for a really long time. But could not. Oh yeah, the Quijari or Quiraji Guardian. This is another one. This is the last pet I actually need to finish my Zookeeper achievement. But he only is around during the summer. And I'd recommend a Speed Speed Breezion or Speed 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 version to be able to get um blackout kick sandstorm and run crush or whirlwind i don't know he's just a really solid pet and humanoids are just really strong they're really strong in the pvp meta um the ore eater used to be really 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 strong until they nerfed shell armor so yeah they're still good um i have yet to find a speed speed version like i've looked on the auction house a bazillion times so, but that'll do it for, I think, the best pets out of the humanoids that you want to pick up. There's a lot of great ones, uh, but these are definitely like the all-stars in the humanoid family.